What's up, guys? Today we have an awesome tale of Jude the Bozo. Jude Meester. His name is actually Jude Marshmallow. Okay. So, Jude in the snarky cosmic... No, Jude the snarky cosmic... Kerr... Kermadudgeon. Kermadudgeon. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Let me make it read that out. Uh, Ooh, I don't know how okay. to do that. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, well, here I'll be the narrator too. <clears throat> Once upon a time, in a far, far corner of the universe lived a boy named Jude, but don't be fooled by his innocent appearance. Jude's gonna get so mad at this oh for this. God. Jude was no ordinary child. He was the most snarky child. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Jude. I'm the literally obnoxious kid in the Shh, entire world. be quiet cosmos. because I don't want Grandma to get mad at me. Jude had a unique ability to turn even the most mundane situations into his sarcastic, sarcastic specialties. Spectacles. Bro, this is so Jude. I know. <laughs> Spectacles. When the aliens from the planet Zorblat came to Earth with a message of peace, Jude couldn't help himself. Greetings, no, Earthlings. That's me. Oh, yeah, sorry. <coughs> Greetings, Earthlings. We come in peace. Oh, how unearthly. I how think that's utterly. utterly original. Did you travel all this way just to tell us that? Or did you want to intrude on our advanced technology like the installer of water filters? <laughs> <laughs> like interstellar water filter. Okay, go down, go down. Okay, whatever. Go. Wait, no, it's my turn. No. Everyone around him would roll his eyes, but sincerely they found themselves <laughs> some stifling chunks of chuckles. Chuckles of and his his audacity. Audacity. Jude's snarkiness was his superpower. <clears throat> and he willed it, it like a cosmic jester. Oh my gosh. One more. One day. A mysterious artifact arrived on Earth. It was said to have power that to grant any wish. People from the corners of the universe flocked to witness its marvel, hoping to have their wildest dreams come true. But Jude saw it different. <coughs> I wish for endless wishes. Groaning faint. Oh, glowing faint. <laughs> it's not groaning faint. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> Jude, ah oh, yes, because being filthy rich is such a novel concept. I'm sure that you would be the first person in the universe to use our, to use your wealth for purry uh, <coughs> selfless for reasons. What? Purry selfless. Sorry, I didn't mean to mean, yeah. Reasons. People couldn't help but laugh. Even as they made their own witnesses, wishes. wishes, Jude commented, at, at a touch, how can Jude, out of the whole universe, how can everybody hear him? It makes sense, though. Sorry. I'm Jude's wrong. comments added a touch of realism to the grandeur of the event. Where is a it? Reminder, Where are you? Where are you? A reminder that wishes might not oh. always <laughs> lead to the desired outcomes. Come. As the years went by, Jude's replicative uh, reputation. reputation as the snarkiest child in the universe grew. He attended a school for grifted children. Gifted. Gifted? <laughs> gifted? Yeah, right. Yeah. Jeez, we're just destroying Jude. Nobody <laughs> show this to Jude, okay? <laughs> we don't mean any of this, Jude. It was a joke. I wasn't expecting it to be this harsh. Holy crap. Child in the universe grew. Okay. Attention for gifted children. We're, we're, his teacher found themselves both ex exasperated. If, well, who even says that? <laughs> Assumed and <laughs> Caucasian. <laughs> what? <laughs> Still more. Holy crap. Te oh, you go. You're the teacher. Do you do a girl voice. Do you ready? Can you? <laughs> Can you please tell us why the sky is blue? Well, you see, it's because the sky. <laughs> I'm trying to do the best over the best dude voice. Isn't this no. what Jude sounds like? That is no. I'm a hillbilly. Well, 
well, you oh, see, it is <laughs> just the same. <laughs> way. Overheated, oh, whoa, overheated humans. What? Complaining about their favorite color being taken by the ocean. Wait, what? So it decided to to be blue just to spite them. What? That's so <laughs> jeered, though. He would say something retarded like that. What? Um, Wait, you can regenerate it. His classmates would gather around him during class, eagerly waiting for his latest quips. Jude's snarkly wisdom was like become wrathfully in the world oh that sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> I can read normally or I can read like that. <laughs> Took himself too seriously. As he grew older, Jude's snarkiness evolved into a way of challenging continental thinking. He used his wit to provoke Kava Kava. I have no idea what that word is about. Nobody cares about the ad. Nobody cares about what that word is either. Of like the importance of questioning norms. <laughs> Bro, these chat GPT things are so cringy. I love it. In the value of finding humor, humor in the most unexpected places. Jude's snarkiness became a source of inspiration for many. Inspiration for many. Who <laughs> would be like Jude? What? Sorry. Um, he encouraged people to question authority and challenge the status quo and embarrass their unique Gross. perspectives. Whatever. Show, showing that. I'm going to do the last paragraph with the mic in my mouth. Uh, <laughs> Okay, whatever. Oh, whatever. We're just going to skip the last paragraph. Okay, if you want to see what um, we were reading, it's in the description, so you should go check it out. Okay, I'm going to read the last paragraph with my mic in my mouth. <laughs>